Hey, this is Rick again, and uh, in this section we're going to be looking at lead recycling through Residel. Now, lead recycling is very important. Uh, when you purchase leads, um, you can't just run through the leads just once. In other words, to make the leads more effective, you have to go back and be able to call the numbers that did not answer, that were busy, that were answering machines. You also need to be sorting out the numbers that were disconnected and everything. So. In order to make it more effective, you know, again, we have to call the list more than once. Not every number, but at least the numbers that didn't answer. Now, if we look here under the campaigns main, it'll show us our IDs, our basically our campaigns that are available. So we know that we have the test outbound campaign that is active, and it's got dial statuses. So that's what the dial status is, what we're going to be working for, working off of for the lead recycling. So in the same campaign menu here, we're going to click lead recycling. And we're going to select the campaign leads to recycle, which is going to be the test outbound campaign leads. Okay, now in this screen, what it's going to show us is uh, basically what status we want to be able to call. Uh, the temp delay is how many seconds? It's up to 23 hours, okay, in seconds. And uh, the attempt at maximum times that we'll try to call that lead until it's answered. So let's start with this. All right, so for the answering machines, since we do have answering machine automatic, since the system will detect an answer machine or automatically designate an answer machine then we want to call those numbers back so let's put a delay time of one hour so we're going to put 3600 seconds and we're going to try to call the answering machine a maximum of three times so I'm going to add it okay uh, let's go to busy signals if this phone if the system calls and the number is busy then uh, we're going to make sure that we call it again. So for this one, we're going to use it every 30 minutes. So let's put 1,800 seconds. And this one, we're going to call it up to five times. I believe the maximum for this is up to 10 times. So let's just use for busy signals. Try it 10 times until somebody answers. OK. Now for the no answer, let's actually go with an hour also, 3,600 second delay. and the maximum will be 10 and we're going to add. So now with this done like this uh, we are now going to recycle automatically okay uh, all the answering machines busy signals and non-answers uh, at the respective times at the respective attempts that they're going to try to you know make the call work okay so now as you can see here we see that the automatic answering machine is going to delay for 3600 seconds it's going to have a maximum of three times to call and get an answer. Um, this section right here, let's say we have a thousand leads, 500 have been called. It'll tell you out of those five, out of those thousand leads, how many of those answering machines have reached the limit. In other words, I have a lead that's already been called three times, so that lead is scrapped. Okay. Um, this will tell you if they're active. So make sure these are active. Do not do this and hit them all in the row and then hit modify because you have to hit modify because it's going to happen. So the other two will not work. You have to modify each one individually. Alright, so now once we have this set, um, the system can automatically start calling and as this goes going through the answering machine's busy and no answers, it'll start, it'll wait the minute, the a lot of times that we have set and it'll start calling back, calling back, calling back until a person is reached or the limit is reached and that's how you work the lead recycling